Pleasanton is home to many industry-leading companies at the forefront of innovation in the fields of scientific research and development, biotechnology, as well as medical equipment and pharmaceutical manufacturing. These companies sit on the cutting edge of technology and innovation in their fields and is key catalyst for economic development in our community. They are vital to the strength and diversity of the Pleasanton business environment. The Pleasanton Chamber of Commerce, along with the City of Pleasanton, are partnering together to recognize three outstanding businesses and highlight why Pleasanton is a premier destination for innovation and entrepreneurship within the Tri-Valley. We are once again pleased to partner with the City of Pleasanton to honor and recognize Paxson Energy and Infrastructure and Germana and Iris Vision as economic drivers for Pleasanton. Let's learn a little bit more about each company and hear from them on why they're headquartered here in Pleasanton. Paxson Energy and Infrastructure Services, a multi-award winning certified woman-owned company in the field of oil, gas, and utilities. Number nine fastest growing private companies of America with 17,300% three-year growth. With a long history of working with utility clients and pipeline operators with our own in-house engineering and program management, integrity and field services team, we excel at strategic planning, training, field support and compliance. Providing value-added quality management assurance and safety services to clients across the country. Paxson's team of experienced staff understands how to efficiently execute field projects by addressing all assets throughout their entire life cycle, from conceptualization through construction, operations, maintenance, and replacement. Hello, my name is Nushin Behroyan. I am the founder and CEO of Paxon Energy and Infrastructure Services. We are a certified woman-owned company in the field of oil and gas and utilities. We provide engineering, program management, and field services uh, to our utility clients and pipeline operators across the U.S. On behalf of everyone at Paxon, we want to say thank you, uh, Pleasanton Chamber of Commerce, for this award and recognition. For the past almost four years, we've been headquartered in Pleasanton, and we've been honored to be part of this community. Thank you again. 50% of vaccines are destroyed each year. Vaccine waste happens due to temperature fluctuations that occur during transportation. It's a problem that costs the government and biopharma billions of dollars a year. This is especially true now when vaccines require multiple temperatures in the supply chain. LVEC is a technology that solves this problem and improves vaccine efficiency by enabling distribution to happen at room temperature. This new vaccine design prevents wastage, improves efficacy, increases stability, reduces the cost of production, and ultimately saves millions of lives. Enjimata is a team of scientists passionate about vaccine technology. With more than 60 years of experience in biopharma, it began with an idea conceived as a high school experiment and then later brought to life at MIT. Enjimata's LVAC is a solution that prevents the loss of vaccines. Global implementation could save up to $15 billion a year. But most importantly, it saves lives. This is Njimata, a revolutionary approach to vaccine design. Hi, my name is Arya Saraya and I am the Chief Medical Officer of Njimata. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank the City of Pleasanton for their support and recognition of our company. When I was a student at Stanford University and co-founded Enjimata, we wanted to determine the best location in the Bay Area to establish a new company. 
we decided on the city of Pleasanton for a number of different reasons, including the well-established companies in the area, the ease of networking opportunities, and the lack of bureaucratic hindrances. It's been so wonderful being part of this community, and we look forward to continuing our vaccine research and vaccine development. Thank you once again for this opportunity and recognition. To me, being a Paralympic athlete means showing the world what I'm capable of, not what my disability is. My name is Amy Dixon. I'm 45 years old, and I am a visually impaired athlete on the US Paralympic team. I have a rare form of uveitis, which is an inflammatory autoimmune eye disease, and I also have neovascular and steroid-induced glaucoma secondary to uveitis. So at the age of 22, I was experiencing uh, what's called photopsia, sort of like when a camera lens opens and shuts really fast. So I would see a picture of an image and then it would disappear during one of the flashes, like a bad connection on a TV screen. It's a degenerative condition and will likely render me eventually completely blind, but I still have 2% of remaining vision straight ahead. Before my diagnosis, I was very, very active. My sister always nicknamed me Crash because I was constantly <laughs> running into things. Everyday activities that are challenging for me, I would say looking at my phone, knowing if someone's standing next to me, cooking. I also use a cane, but I definitely prefer a dog that has an opinion about cars. One of the things that frustrates me is seeing people with vision loss that are not able to be gainfully employed or keep gainful employment because of their visual limitations. And I saw Iris Vision as a great tool to be able to keep these people working and a contributing member of society for as long as possible. The coolest thing about trying Iris Vision is that I saw my hand for the first time in 23 years. Because of my vision loss, I can only see about half of my hand, the other half is black, and my arms are only so long. And the other part was that I, I finally got to see a whole piece of paper, whereas normally I can only see a couple lines at a time. It felt like voodoo magic. I was like, how does this work? And how do we make this available for everyone? Like, I thought it was a miracle. The Inspire has been game changing for me as someone living with vision loss. I'm finally able to safely chop vegetables in my kitchen. And if someone's standing next to me, now I actually know that they're there. And I'm able to watch television. So I finally get to see the whole TV screen and see all the action. I would 100% recommend Inspire. It's such an empowering tool that's gonna give you such ability beyond disability. It's a dream come true. I never imagined as a little girl that I would be going to represent my country on the biggest stage, certainly not as someone with vision loss. And thanks to the incredible technology that's available to me out there, I've been able to pursue my dream of representing my country on the Paralympics with Team USA in triathlon. Hi, my name is Ahmad and I am the founder and CEO of Iris Vision. Pleasanton has been a great place for us to build our company because we've been able to attract many talented people. Uh, there were a lot of office space options, very good ones, as well as many restaurants and hangout spots that our team really enjoys. So we've been very happy here in Pleasanton. On behalf of the Pleasanton Chamber of Commerce, I'd like to congratulate Paxton Energy and Infrastructure and Jamada and Iris Vision for being innovative in their fields of expertise and adding to the strength and diversity of the business community here in Pleasanton. Each of these three companies are significant contributors to the economic vitality and vibrancy of our city. And they help to make Pleasanton a sought after place to live, work, and raise a family.